Hi, this is Matt introducing you the Andrew Jordan Drop Point Hunter. This is a knife made from Jordan Knives, www.jordanknives.com. Uh, Andrew Jordan is a, a British bladesmith who lives in uh, Waldenberg in, in the Netherlands. He produces custom knives and uh, this is uh, a sort of his uh, military series, a kind of. Um, I asked uh, Andy for um, having a really stable, durable knife for hunting, fishing, everything I like. So I'm a hunter and I wanted to have a knife that is, uh, I said already, stable. It, uh, and also I wanted to have a non-coated knife from a stainless steel, near stainless. He, he just, his decision was to give me a, a D2 steel and uh, he made here a selective hardening on this uh, knife. So I have here, um, it's not so, so good to distinguish from a carbon steel knife where the harmon gets, pops really out here. Is, um, he's a slightly uh, fine uh, harmon on it, but you couldn't see it here on the on the movie. Um, this makes uh, it ultra ultra stable because the seven millimeter basis uh, of non-hardened steel, it's impossible to break that knife. And um, the the uh, seven millimeters when uh, are tapered down easily here on. on at the beginning of the blade, behind the shawl, we have here five millimeters, and it's tapering down to zero from to the tip. This knife is, um, yeah. I wanted to have a stainless steel for for hunting, because uh, these uh, I, the carbon steels are tarnishing so much from the blood. It's highly aggressive. Blood is highly aggressive, and if you um, during a hunt, you haven't got always the ability to clean it, and and uh, probably for, you forget it for one day to clean your knife, and uh, from from um, the blood you get everywhere rusted uh, on it. So uh, my decision was totally clear: uh, stainless steel. Andy uh, fits it with his trademark, the ferrule. The ferrule is um, here soldered. Uh, it's really fine made, so you have here no, uh, it's totally sealed the handle, that no uh, blood could creep into the tank and, and which uh, rust there. Also with epoxy glue done, a micata handle with a G10 uh, orange spacer and, oh, just a moment, a lot of noise and a hardened butt cap. I, uh, the decision for a hardened butt cap is that I'm uh, using my knife also for camping and hiking and I, I often using it for hammering ten packs or something and also it's just for hammering everything. It's, it's, it's stable enough to use it as, uh, uh, as a hammer. For, so. This knife is, uh, has got a 14 and a half centimeter blade length. It's yeah, it's on, on the borderline for being handy and and uh, being rough. So it also has enough impact to hack. This knife is not light. It's not lightweight. It's uh, about 400 grams. And um, yeah, I wanted to have 14 and a half centimeters because I need the blade length for to giving you a uh, wounded uh, game the cue to draw that that uh, that I could use it for that. So, so I need the blade length for that, and also for as a camp knife for for all purposes with wood and so on. The uh, it cuts really nice. It's good for carving. You could get easy into the foregrip. The chawl is big enough to put your index finger in it and have some uh, could fumble more by carving more fine and give more control on it. So. This knife is also, it's a big knife, but it's, it feels not big. So if you want, it, yeah, it's a multi-purpose tool. Highly, I highly recommend it, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a brilliant knife. So 
If you want to have a further look on www.jordanlife.com, you could get more information for ordering. This, uh, this is a custom knife and you have to wait for it for a couple of times, a couple of weeks or months. I, I think normally he ta it takes three months to build it and uh, it takes three months to build it for, for Andy and um, yeah, buy it, you will love it.